This is Fitness Blender's quick arm and shoulder workout. In this routine, we're going to be going through one round of eight different exercises focusing on the arms and shoulders. We're going to be doing 10 repetitions of each exercise, and you're going to need dumbbells and an optional bench or physio ball. Now, we haven't included a warm up or cool down, so you want to make sure you add one in. Let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise the bicep curls. This is just a traditional bicep curl, so go ahead and select your weight. And let's start it up. Standing nice and straight and tall, you want to keep that upper arm perfectly straight up and down, perpendicular to the ground. Curl those hands straight up to that shoulder, nice and slow, full extension back down before you start that motion over again. You want to make sure that as you curl that hand up towards that shoulder, you don't let that elbow pull forward. You want to always keep it facing straight down towards the ground. That's actually a really common mistake that most people make when they're doing a traditional dumbbell curl or bicep curl is they always let that elbow kick forward, which makes it much, much easier for that bicep to do that work. The more you keep that elbow back so it's straight underneath that shoulder, the more that bicep has to work and the more you're going to get out of it. Now just two more repetitions. We're almost done. Keep that back nice and straight, nice neutral spine. And there's your last one right there. Let it relax. All right, go ahead and set those dumbbells up. Go ahead and select your next weight. We're going to do a ventral raise next, focusing more on that shoulder. All right, go ahead and get those weights. We're starting this from a standing position as well. Nice neutral spine. You're going to slowly bring those hands straight up in front of your body, all the way up over your head, and then slowly back down. Keep those palms facing in towards each other. This is going to focus more on that front deltoid, maybe a little tiny bit into the center, but mainly just the front side of that deltoid, that shoulder muscle. You want to make sure you keep that back nice and neutral. As you lift those arms, you're going to have to counterbalance that weight by leaning backwards away from it. Make sure you don't lean through your chest. You want to lean through your entire torso and all the way down to either that hip or that ankle. So if you want to, you can hinge all the way from that ankle to lean your entire body back or from that hip joint. Just don't let that lower back around. And we're almost done. Just keep it going a little bit longer. Try to keep those arms nice and straight. Just a tiny, tiny bit of a bend in that elbow. And we are almost done. We have one more repetition after this one. Nice, slow, controlled motion. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and set those dumbbells back. Get ready for that next one. We're going to be doing a tricep extension with palms down. This is an overhead tricep extension. So again, standing up, bring those hands directly over the top of your head with a nice full extension of that arm. With those palms facing back behind you, you're going to bend that elbow, bring that hand straight down as close to that shoulder as you can get it, as close as is comfortable, then extend it straight back up. Do as best you can to keep that elbow directly above that shoulder the entire time, trying to let it lean forward over in front of your face. You want to try to keep it pointing straight up in the air. Also try to keep that spine nice and neutral. You don't want to let that weight actually tilt your chest back and arch that lower back. You want to keep a nice neutral spine by keeping those abdominal muscles nice and tight. And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Set those dumbbells down. Go ahead and get ready for that next exercise, which is going to be a reverse fly. So select that next weight. From a standing position, keeping that back nice and flat, you're going to hinge from that hip joint. Tip straight forward so you're parallel to the ground with that chest, slight bend in your knee, a little tiny bit of a bend in that elbow, and then bring those arms up and out to the sides as wide as you can. Now when you bring those arms up, you actually want that fist to be a level with about your ear rather than with your shoulder. So you want those hands forward just a little bit to make sure you're really, really working on those rhomboids on the, through the middle rather than that lower portion of that rhomboid. And that's our last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Set those dumbbells up. Go ahead and select that next weight. We're going to be moving on to our next, which is a bicep hammer curl. So very similar to a traditional bicep curl, just a different hand position. So nice neutral spine again, those palms facing in towards each other. Curl that fist up towards that shoulder as tight as you possibly can. Again, keeping that elbow straight down. Don't let that elbow kick forward. Nice tight contraction at the very top of that range of motion. Then a full extension at the very bottom before you start that range of motion again. Just keep it going under control, nice and slow. Almost done, just two more repetitions left. Keep nice and slow under control, tight squeeze, keep that elbow back behind you, and let it relax. Go ahead and set those dumbbells back down. Got another exercise coming up, the overhead lateral raise. Go ahead and select your weight for that one, probably need quite a bit less weight. 
Arms will be coming straight out to your sides, palms facing forward to start, nice neutral spine, little bend in that elbow, and then bring them straight up over top of your head. This is going to focus more on the middle part of that shoulder, a little bit of that front, but mainly the middle portion. And really focus on keeping a clean form on this one. Try to keep that elbow just a slight bend. Try not to bend that elbow very much at all, but you don't want to lock that arm out either. Now be really careful of that form. If those arms start bending too much, it means you can't control that weight. You need to drop it down. Actually, that's what I'm doing right here. It was getting a little bit too heavy for me, so I'm going to drop to the next weight down and finish off the rest of my repetitions. Now, it doesn't matter if you're doing strength training or toning. If you're lifting weight of any kind, your form should always be the first and foremost concern. The amount of weight you're using should be number two. So if you can't control the form, then you need to drop the weight down to something a little bit lighter. Lifting a lighter weight with clean form will always get you an increase in size and strength faster than just focusing on the amount of weight you're lifting. And that was our last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Set those dumbbells back up. Go and get ready for that next exercise, which is going to be skull crushers. So when you're laying down flat on your back for this one, you can either use a bench or a physio ball. Roll out flat, starting with those hands directly above those shoulders. You want to keep that upper arm perfectly straight up and down, bending only from that elbow. Bring that dumbbell straight down next to your head, as close to that shoulder as is comfortable, and then press it straight back up again, right on top of that elbow. Now you really, really want to focus on where that upper arm is. You want to constantly keep that upper arm perpendicular to the ground to really focus on that tricep muscle the most. If you let that elbow kick above your head or down over top of that rib cage a little more, then you're going to affect how that tricep muscle is working and you're going to diminish the effectiveness of this exercise. We're almost done. You have just one repetition left. Keep it nice and clean. Keep those elbows up and let it relax. All right, go ahead and set that dumbbell up. We're gonna move on to the next exercise, which is a rear deltoid raise with your palms back. This is our last exercise for this routine. And from a standing position, you're gonna keep that back really nice and flat. Hinge from those hips, tip over as parallel to the ground as you can with that chest. Palms facing back behind you. You're gonna squeeze those arms up behind you as high as you possibly can. Slowly let them drop back underneath that shoulder joint. Try to pause them right underneath that shoulder joint. Try not to get any momentum in there. Then squeeze them right back behind you again. Nice tight squeeze. Try to get them up behind your body as best you can. So nice slow motion. Again, if you have trouble getting that full range of motion, you need to drop that weight just a little bit. That range of motion is most important. We just have one repetition left. Tight squeeze. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and set those dumbbells back up. And you are done. This workout is complete. You just finished Fitness Blenders Quick Arms and Shoulders Workout.